Hidden Tags and welcome. This is Ash from Hidden My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So I've got with me an Acer Aspire Switch 10, which I did kind of a review on it before. Uh, it was about whether you should buy this or, or is it upgradable. You can watch the video here. I did receive a bit of controversy on it, but I'll talk about it more later in detail. But in about 25 to 20 seconds, you're going to see that this screen is going to go blank. And the owner of this laptop brought it to me saying that in the middle of an application, the screen goes blank and they have to move the cursor for it to come back on. It's really annoying. So initially I thought, you know, there was going to be maybe, hey, you go, the screen goes blank and you have to move the cursor for it to come back. So I really did not think it was going to be a simple issue. I thought initially that the person knew that they had this laptop for a while, so they were using it. So it must be a recent problem, like a display issue or even a graphics issue or even a motherboard issue. And I was going to be in a lot of pain to try and troubleshoot this because I really don't like troubleshooting laptops for these issues. And I uh, checked online as well. A few other people having the same issue in the middle of watching some multimedia stuff. And, uh, you know, um, it goes blank and they have to keep moving the cursor or press the keyboard for it to come back. And I thought that's weird. And when I checked the um, interval of it going black, it was doing this every minute. And in about 20 seconds, you might find the same thing, maybe. Um, so the solution is really simple. It's not a problem at all. It's something which every office worker should know about because they see this all the time. And you might guess it correctly. And uh, there you go, it goes blank again. Move the cursor back on. It's simple. It's the freaking screen saver. Not a problem. So by default, this is a Windows 8, by the way, but it works the same for Windows 10 or 7. Uh, if you go right click on the desktop anywhere and go to personalize. And then if you go to screensaver. And there you go. So you see this black, dark, blank stuff. It's currently set the screensaver as blank and wait one minute. And then that was the setting. So if I click on preview, you can see it goes blank. Move the cursor, comes back on, or you can actually press the keyboard, it comes back on. There you go, that's the problem. <laughs> Not a problem at all, just a setting. And I don't know if the person actually set this like that or it was by default, but you can, you can choose, you know, easy, just no screensaver, just click none, press apply, and now there will be no uh, screensaver coming. Or if you want to change that to any other screensaver, let's say, let's put bubbles and uh, let's do a preview. And you have some nice bubbles popping up. It's a screensaver. So um, <laughs> I was really unsure um, whether I should do this tutorial at all. Okay. Uh, it was really funny. But, you know, um, the owner of this laptop is a relative of mine. So I guess I'll do them this favor. But I was really, you know, surprised. And also that I, I tweeted recently that I think a lot of people are not ready for tech. They're barely getting used to, you know, uh, older desktops and laptops, let alone smartphones and further VR stuff coming up, which is really crazy. <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully this was an easy solution. Uh, if it's on Windows 7 or 10, it's almost similar. You can easily find the screensaver setting somewhere. And I hope this was helpful. So thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. You know what to do down there. Leave me a like, comment and subscribe to this channel so you can help me do further videos. Until next time, peace out.